everyone welcome back to my channel this is Natalie with Natalie's closet and I will be right back with several pieces of happy mail see you in a sec okay so welcome back everyone as I said I have several pieces of happy mail um, actually a couple of them I've had for over a week because I think I mentioned it in one of my videos last week if I'm not mistaken Maybe even the week before that? I don't know. It's been kind of crazy. But um, first, I want to welcome any new subscribers and welcome back all of my existing friends, uh, which you all are friends. So whether you're new or you've been around for a while, welcome back. Um, thank you so much for all of your support and just being so incredible. You guys are awesome. Um, I do apologize for things having been kind of weird the last couple of weeks, but um, just it's been it's been kind of hectic with life and stuff. And I do apologize also for not having done my live last night. However, you guys know I have a bad back on top of my hip, and something happened over the weekend, and um, it's just very very painful. To sit um, so that's why today is going to be hopefully a rather quick video um, going over the happy mail because I seriously cannot stand not knowing or not seeing what's inside these bags and boxes I'm literally going crazy but I did want to at least get a video out and um, just be part of the community again because I just feel so disconnected from you guys but I have spoken to many of you and I really do appreciate all of your support and your prayers and your love. You guys are really, truly amazing. Uh, if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you'd consider hitting the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell next to that. And if you would be willing to give this video a thumbs up as well as leave a comment, that would be amazing. And sharing it is always appreciated. So, all right, on to uh, the Happy Mail. Um, I told you guys I got a postcard which I've had now for about two weeks ish maybe I don't know maybe not quite that long but um, it is from one of you amazing wonderful people and of course you all know that she's gotten me a couple of awesome things between my coloring book my adult coloring book and my address book, um, Emmy, you are awesome. Um, she sent me a postcard from Idaho, and it's Welcome to Idaho, Great Seal of the State of Idaho, uh, the heart of the Great Northwest is what I think it says. Uh, so there is the postcard. Of course I'll read it because it's a postcard, so everybody that has had their hands on it has read it, right? <laughs> um, and it says Idaho is the gem state, and it says, Hi, Natalie and Miley. <laughs> Miley says hi. She's actually halfway laying underneath my chair. Not sure why, but she says hi. Uh, hello from one of my favorite places, Idaho. <laughs> Yarny life forever, Emmy. So thank you so much, Emmy. As you all know, no one, I, I don't want anyone to ever feel like you need to send me something, whether it's a package or whatever the case is. Please never feel like you have to send me anything. But I do ask for postcards because I am now collecting postcards from all around the world now that I have friends everywhere. So I'm really excited. Here's another postcard to add to my collection. And I know, um, I mean, was it you or Natalie? I can't remember who asked me if I'm specifically only looking for um, postmarked uh, postcards. No, uh, so someone, and I'm so sorry for not remembering who it was, sent me a bunch in an envelope, and that's awesome. Whatever the case is, yeah, it's fun to get it if you guys are somewhere, whether it's while at home and you happen to see a postcard and think of me and want to send it, or if it's while you guys are on vacation or whatever the case is, that's always fun to get just a quick note, but I am all for getting postcards from everywhere, any which way. So whatever the case is. So that is one thing I have requested are postcards from anywhere that you guys may live or may visit. If you if you have the time, obviously don't like stop all your plans to go find a postcard to send me. I mean, that's kind of crazy, but you know what I mean. All right, so on to 
um, the first or the second piece of Happy Mail. Now this is from Felt Fusion, and I will have the link in the description box. Um, this is the I think third yarn of the month club that she has done for the Nudebrant, um series, which are the sea slugs that are super bright and colorful. And the last two months have not disappointed at all whatsoever. So I'm really excited to see what is in this bag. Like so excited. This one actually just got here a day or two ago, maybe. I don't remember. Oops. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because I think that's her. I don't know. But anyway, I love her bags. They're just too cute. So let's go ahead and open this. And oh, I will put the inspiration photo for month three here. And then you guys can see what, how it compares to the actual yarn itself. Now, this particular month isn't quite as colorful in the sense of like the pinks and, and the yellows and stuff that were in the last two months, but it's still gorgeous. And I cannot wait to see how she did it in the yarn, but that's how it came packaged. I mean, she always does it in the black tissue with her sticker, but the piece of tape seems to change every so often. <laughs> um, okay, so I hate tearing into tissue and stuff, but I got to get into it, right? So, all right, I have not seen it yet. It's still here, so I'm going to unveil it with, I think I just saw a little bit. Oh, no, that's the tape. All right. I have my eyes closed. All right, you guys ready? Oh, oh my, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Well, I just looked at the inspiration photo, but um, it's still like kind of not fresh in my head because <laughs> it's been like five minutes, but I have a feeling this matches right on. Oh my gosh, is this not um, gorgeous? I love this orange and these greens. So beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, so Felt Fusion, hand dyed yarn and knitted garments, commissions, welcome. Uh, Feltfusion.etsy.com. I will, like I said, put the link to our Etsy shop in the description box below. And the colorway is uh, Kubaryana. Kubayana. I don't know if that's the exact pronunciation of that Nudebrant, but it's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. It is a fingering weight, four ply. There's 425 meters. I can't remember what the yardage is on that. I think maybe, I don't even want to guess, like 460-ish maybe. I don't know. Don't quote me, but it's a 100 gram hank uh, for best results, hand wash finished project in cold water, shape and lay flat to dry. That is just stunning. Look, it matches like the background a little bit. Anyway, is that not absolutely amazing? Oh my gosh, these colors. She is so, so right on with her inspiration photos and how she does the yarn. It is incredible. I absolutely love it. I love the vibrancy of her yarns and these are really soft. Um, again, it's not like soft, like butt up, but it's definitely soft. The nylon, well, the nylon gives it nice strength also, but, oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. Totally love it. Love it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, definitely leave comments in the comment section below. I love how you guys always interact with me. And of course that helps everybody's channels, um, to interact uh, you know, with comments and likes and stuff, but I would love to hear what you guys think of these yarns as I'm, you know, let me know what your favorite yarn is. That would be awesome. I would really appreciate that. Okay. So that is yarn of the month, uh, club one of, I think all three of these were yarn of the month, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on that, but I believe they are. Now, um, this one is by Ditastic. Love the bag. Um, I'm 97% sure I have the inspiration photo for this one. I hope. And if I don't, I'm going to ask my friend to see if she still has it. Um, but I'm pretty sure I took a screenshot of it or remembered to take a screenshot of it. So I had it for this month. But if I do, it'll be right here. So. 
so I cannot wait to see what it looks like. I have intentionally not watched oops, her video because I did not want to, um, I, I didn't want to ruin my surprise to see what the yarn looks like. Um, okay, hold on a second. Wait, let me see if there's a picture of it. I'm almost positive. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay, so she left a note um, for me. I do, I'm almost positive I have this inspiration photo. This was the October color of the month. Um, and there is a coupon code that she has given for November. There was one in October and now there's another one in November. And my, the coupon code that she has given me for you guys is NOV10 and I'll have it right here. That's the coupon code you get for, I believe it's 10% off. Now I'm not sure when she wrote this note, but she said my shop is empty because I've been packing up my, I think it says advents, but it will be full in a week or so. I have not checked her um, uh, her shop at all, so I'm not sure if it has been updated or not. But regardless, you have a coupon code, NOV10, to get 10% off. And I know this is kind of late November, uh, but I don't even remember when I got this one. I think it was last week sometime. Anyway, so hopefully you guys remember what the inspiration photo looks like that I put up a second ago. And... It looks good so far. <laughs> Ow. Uh, and I only saw... <gasps> Sorry. That wasn't... This is unbelievable. I didn't mean to actually look at it, but it kind of fell out and I had to grab it. But... Look at that! I know it's in the plastic. Sorry for the crinkling. But this is gorgeous! Oh my... Oh my lordy, lordy, lordy. This is stunning. Sorry again for the crinkling. I thought what I opened was actually the bag, but it wasn't. This is unbelievable. And it was the October, um, October yarn of the month. So this was definitely appropriate. Isn't he cute? I love him. I love him. So cute. All right, so let me know what you think of this. Let me know what you, oh my gosh, think of this. Is that not unbelievable? Oh my gosh, these colors are amazing. Amazing. I mean, you got the orange and the yellow, the gold, the purple, um, the grays. I love the grays. There's a little speckling of green. Can you see that right there? Awesome. Oh my gosh. This is, oh, sorry, stretching is really hurting right now. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay. Dietastic hand dyed yarn, single sock, 100% superwash merino. It's a hundred gram Hank, 400 yards. Gourd just like a gourd, G-O-U-R-D dash G-E-O-U-S. So gourd just. <laughs> For best results, hand wash in cold water, lay flat to dry. Beautiful. It is soft. It is stunning. Stunning, stunning colors. Oh my gosh. I am so freaking excited about this. And these are, I mean, these colors aren't necessarily typically what I would normally go for. I mean, like the brights are what I love, bright and colorful and stuff, which I mean, this is definitely colorful, but I, I'm feeling like a change in, I still love, I mean, bright is always, bright and sparkly is always gonna be my thing, but I'm definitely, definitely getting into, you know, these kind of colors. I love the gray, I love it, love it, love it. Love, would love to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know what you think. Now with Ditastic, oh yeah, I just told you what the coupon code was. Um, so yay, I'll put the link in the description box below. Make sure if you wanna check it out to use the coupon code that is listed next to um, the uh, link. I'm sorry, it's just very hard for me to focus right now. But um, okay, 
So the third yarn of the month club, wait a minute, did she have that one? My friend, I'm almost positive. I, but I, I don't know if she has this one also this month. I wasn't paying attention. I'm so far behind on videos, it's just simply not funny. So far behind on videos. So far behind on a lot of stuff. But things kind of came to a screeching halt this week. Anyway, this one is um, Ruby and Roses. I've loved what I've seen, so, you know, had to keep, yeah. Anyway, um, I will put the link to, I can't remember if it's an Etsy shop or um, a website, but I will put the link in the description box below. Make sure to check it out. They have fabulous stuff. Um, and I'm 99% sure this one also had, almost cut into it. I'm 99% sure there is a, um, inspiration photo for this and if there is I will place it here if I don't have it I will find it hopefully from somewhere so that I can add it <laughs> but oh my gosh I saw like a corner of it when I thought I cut into it um and wow you see it well I mean you kind of see it all gorgeous I am so thrilled with all of them so thrilled you have no idea oh my gosh oh, I forgot I I did the sparkle yarn this is it in the plastic but oh my freaking heavens you've got great taste <laughs> thank you so very much I love holographic stuff oh my gosh this is stunning Sorry guys, I'm not squealing like I normally would, but I am internally. It just deep breaths are not fun right now. How do I get into this? Oh, okay. Sorry for the crinkling. Oh my lordy, lordy, lordy. Oh my lordy, lordy, lordy. I'm almost positive there was an inspiration photo. Look. Oh my God. Look at this. I know you see the sparkle. You see the sparkle? I know you see it in the pink. But look at this fantabulousness. Did I just make up a word? I think I did. Oh, that is amazing. And it's, and it's the same whatever. Is this Stellina? Yeah, I love Stellina. This is very similar to the sparkle that is in my, um, are in the leather company for the Halloween scarf. I promise you it's almost done. Just, I haven't been able to work on it. But, oh my heavens. Okay, so this is called Disco Rose Gold Base. Okay. 438 yards, 100 gram hank. So that's this one right here. So this one is Disco. That one is Disco. Rose gold base, 438 yards, 100 gram hank, two ply, 75% uh, superwash merino, 20% nylon, 5% stellina. And then this one is strobe light. Oh, how appropriate. 75% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 5% stellina, 20 grams and 87 yards. Oh my goodness gracious, I am in love. I'm in love. Oh my gosh. I love it. Please let me know what you think. And this is so soft. It really is soft. Like it's squishy soft. This is stunning. Do you see the colors in there? Oh my goodness gracious. The hot pinks, the purple, the greens. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness gracious. <sighs> What are you telling me you want to be? Oh my gosh. This would actually be an awesome pair of socks with this being the toe and the heel. I'm not going to do that, but it would be fun. Okay. So this video has gotten entirely longer than I was thinking. Well, entirely longer because I haven't gotten to the box yet. <laughs> now I would love, I would like to know what you think of each one of those as well as which is your favorite of those three. 
This box is from Unique Yarns, and I think I mentioned to you guys that they had sent me an email. It may have been in one of my lives, but they had sent me an email and asked me if I would like them to send me some yarn. That's really a silly question, because if you know me, and I still have, what did I tell you guys, like another 20 like bins? Maybe not quite. Maybe like 15, 16, 17 bins filled with yarn on top of all eight of these cubbies being filled. Anybody that knows me knows I'm not going to say no to free yarn. So I had signed up as an affiliate with them. So I will put, okay, I have, I'll have all the links to all of these in the description box below. If there is a coupon code, I will put it next to it. With Unique Yarns, I am an affiliate with them. So if you were to make a purchase with them, I would get a small percentage. I, I still haven't clarified that because I need to just simply ask the question. Because I haven't been, I haven't gone onto the website any further outside of having said what I did was I sent them links. I went to their website and I sent them links of everything that, and I put on there, whether it was something I would be giving away, like this is the link and this would be something I'd do a giveaway with, or this is the link and this is something that I would give away or keep depending on what it is or whatever the case is. So they responded saying, we sent you a box. Um, we didn't send everything that you requested simply because some of the things are really popular right now and um, we don't have much in stock. So once we replenish it, we'll go ahead and send you some more. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to say no. <laughs> so I have no idea what is in this box. Um, they sent it to me and I'm really impressed because it seems like anything that comes in the envelopes from overseas comes rather quickly, like within a week or two. But when it comes to a box, it can take a lot longer. Well, I mean, this is a decent sized box, don't you think? I mean, it's not tiny. Um, and they sent it out, I think it was on November 2nd, if I remember correctly, first or second. So it got here rather quick. So I'm very excited about that. So let's see what it is that's in here. Um, I love how customs forms are filled out when it comes to what's inside. Oh, heavens, I should have brought my letter opener, but I was afraid. No, that's just too, that my letter opener wouldn't have worked. Sorry. But... Let's see what is inside this box. I am so super excited. I don't I, I didn't print out my email so that I could see what it was. But, well, actually, I don't even want to tell you guys what it was that I was thinking would I, I would do in a giveaway versus keeping myself. But Unique Yarns is the yarn company. Now, so like I was saying, um, sorry for all the noise, but um, the link, I'll, what I'll do is I'll find the link to each of these items and actually list them in the description box below. They will be affiliate links. So if you decided to make a purchase on there, um, I would get a small percentage. It doesn't cost you any extra to shop with them, but I would get a small percentage of it. Um, so thank you in advance if you do decide to shop with them. Now, if I have coupon codes for anything, that is just coupon code for you. I will let you know if it's an affiliate link and I make anything for it. Um, but like my Amazon links, oh my goodness, look at all this. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what's in here. I don't know where to put this where I don't have to reach too much. I didn't think this through as well as I should have. Um, okay, so I was starting to tell you guys something and now I can't remember what it was. Um, but anyway, I will link everything in the description box below if I'm able to find the direct links to these things, which I should be able to. Um, oh, and the sticker says color your way. Can you see that? Ooh, this feels like a hank of something. I haven't seen it. Ooh. Oh my gosh, is that gorgeous? I remember this. I remember telling them. Oh, Unique Yarns is the yarn company that I got, um, the glow in the dark yarn as well as the sunlight color changing yarn so these i think i said if i were to get two i would do one for giveaway one to keep but it depended on the on the yardage so color okay so this is pink fluo 
looks like it's 50 good they're 50 gram I think it's handwritten so it's hard for me to really read this I don't know if it's 107 meters 60% alpaca 25% merino 15% nylon okay so alpaca do I have any alpaca I think I may have some kind of alpaca it is soft but there is a little bit of a I don't want to say roughness, but it's but it's got a halo. It is. Look at this. So there's two hanks of this. Now, for some reason, I have a feeling. Um, I have a funny feeling. This may be a yarn that may interact with either a UV light or something like that. Uh, don't quote me. But I, like I said, I will find the links for each one of these items and I will put it in the description box below so that when you go to that link, you'll be able to see the exact details of what it is. Because like I said, it's handwritten and it's kind of hard for me to read it. But look, yeah, 107 meters, I think is what it says. But look at these. Is, is that not beautiful? Okay. I'm so excited. I mean, free yarn. All right. I don't know who I'm supposed to be telling you that. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They told me that that's what it is. So, all right. Oh, there's a note in there, but I don't know if it's for that particular thing. Okay, I haven't looked. I was just opening it. Oh, ooh, that's pretty. I don't remember this. Oh, I do remember this one. Ooh, this is, this is nice, too. Okay, unique yarns, fingering weight. I I think this is borderline sport, borderline number two. But fingering weight, 100% merino wool, 50 grams, 162 meters. All right, or 177 yards. Hand wash and dry flat. The labels all seem to say label printed on tree free, acid free, eco friendly paper. The mineral series is colored using natural rocks from the earth. This yarn is colored using powdered graphite as a natural dye. Learn more. Right. Now I'm remembering this. And that was one of the things I wanted to see what these yarns look like, seeing as though they are um, dyed with graphite. And it's actually, this is pretty soft. I mean, I don't mean to sound surprised, but it's pretty soft. This is beautiful. This is a really beautiful color. I don't know if the other one said what weight it was. Hmm. Um, are you excited? I feel so bad because I'm not like my normal, like, really, like, crazy self, but I really wanted to open this stuff because it's been killing me having it here. All right. Oh! Oh my gosh I love this all right this is rough, more rough because of the what it is but uh, again this is hand um, rustic wool sparkles 50 gram Hank 108 meters 80% wool 20% viscose so the viscose must be huh it's interesting I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not oh Oh, but do you see how it looks like the yarn itself is like wrapped with the sparkle? That must be the viscose. I don't know that that would be the viscose because it seriously, it looks like, um, not Stellina. It looks like, um, oh, what is it called? Not, not streamer stuff, but like. Oh, I can't figure out what to, here if you guys can see it up close do you see what I'm talking about it looks like the yarn itself is wrapped with whatever the sparkle is so if the yarn is 80% wool but it's 80% wool not superwash but 80% wool 20% viscose but whatever this is that is wrapped around the yarn that to make it sparkly makes it rough. I don't, I would not want to wear this directly on my skin. Um, but oh my gosh, is that not fun? I think it's fun. 
that is that is this is fun but i'd have to figure out ideas for this for non skin touching something <laughs> go <laughs> no i'm kidding i'm not gonna time you or anything all right let's see wow there's a lot in here what is this I can see the writing of the labels through the tissue, but I can't actually see it. But there's three things in here, so I don't want it to fall over. Ooh, this is glow in the dark. Glow in the dark. This is the pink. So these are 100% wool, 50 grams, 65 meters, hand wash, dry flat. Expose the yarn to light to charge the glow in the dark. The yarn will glow brighter and for longer, depending on the strength of the light and length of exposure. So this is the one that's pink. I can't remember what, if it glows like green or if it glows something else. This one is the orange. And this is the blue. Now the two, the, the four that I have, I think are two greens and two pinks. I can't remember, but that is awesome. So I love that. Um, which you all saw the little clip on the video when I when I introduced these showing them glowing in the dark um, They do truly glow in the dark. They weren't charged for long. So um, It didn't glow like glow glow as much as it would have but um, Yeah, ooh, I can't wait to open this but anyway, so yay more glow in the dark yarn and you never know uh, some of these are probably gonna land up in a giveaway I don't know which ones or what or how much, but you never know what will end up in a giveaway. Um, this says mineral dyed merino wool. This yarn is dyed with finely powdered mineral rocks, 100% natural and cosmetic grade. This dyeing process compacts the wool fiber, which then blooms once it has been worked with needles or hook, resulting in an extremely soft and warm finish. A little excess of pigment may come off while knitting or crocheting. These colors are extremely color fast when hand washed. Okay, so I'm guessing that would have been something that typically would have been on, on that, um, like, uh, not taupe, but whatever that other one is that I did. But this is, this note is on this one and on another one. Sorry, I'm hot. When I'm, like, uncomfortable, I, I get even more hot. Um, ooh, baby. Yeah, so this would go, that would go for the same for the other one. All right, so this is Lapis Lazuli. All right, yes, I remember this one. Fingering weight, 100% merino wool, hand wash, dry flat, 162 meters or 177 yards. There's 50 grams in each hank. Is that not beautiful? That's Lapis Lazuli. Love it. Love it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, this stuff is going to start falling. Oh my God, I'm so hot. Sorry, guys. All right, so this one also has this little note on here. Oh, yeah. I think that one was dyed with... I accidentally saw it, and I forgot to show you guys first. This is gorgeous. Oh, wow. This... Oh, baby. This is soft. Does it say what it was? Um... No, this says gray alpaca. This is a deep gray. 50 grams, 107 meters, 60% alpaca, 20%, 25% merino, 15% nylon. I'm guessing this is definitely a worsted weight. I'm maybe thicker. But is that not gorgeous? Oh, I'm hot. This is, and this is. This is really soft and fuzzy, fuzzy wuzzy. But I'm trying to see what it doesn't. I'm not seeing it say what, um, like rock or what mineral. Um, this is specifically. I'm not seeing it, but that is stunning. Totally, totally stunning. Oh my gosh, these, there's four more little things in here. I mean, how much can they fit into this box? Holy mackerel. Okay, these are like little, there's like two little ones in here. 
We have dyed this lovely rustic cotton with coffee powder, and it does smell of coffee. 100% natural, organic, and color fast. Wash in lukewarm water. I remember this. These were ones that, yeah, I specifically requested because of how they were dyed. Wow, does it smell like coffee. Woo, baby. So this was dyed with coffee. Interesting. Coffee dyed 100% cotton, I think. Smell me. <laughs> 30 grams, 101 meters, I think is what it says. 100% naturally dyed. Three to four millimeter hook or needle. It does smell like coffee. What do you guys think of these? I would love to hear what you guys think of all of these and what is your favorite so far. And I totally ripped this bag open because it was hard to open and I really can't sit much longer. <laughs> we, have had, we have dyed this lovely rustic cotton yarn with cocoa powder and it smells of cocoa. Am I going to want to eat this? <laughs> all right, the bag ripped. Just going for it. Ooh. Yeah, I guess it, I guess it does smell like cocoa. But remember what they said, that while working with it, it could, um, some of the color could come off. Uh, so that's obviously something that would have to be um, taken into consideration when working with it, but it's definitely interesting. Have you guys ever worked with yarns that were dyed with coffee or cocoa or anything like that? Or with some sort of stone? We have hand dyed, we have dyed this lovely rustic with red henne powder, H-E-N-N-E, 100% -E, natural, organic, and color fast. You guys know what that is? Honey powder? Yeah, red honey, red honey dyed, 100% cotton, 30 grams, 101 meters, 100% naturally dyed. It doesn't really smell like anything. Now I have to be careful because remember, I think I was trying to figure out whether or not having played with the, um, glow in the dark and or the the color changing yarn if that was something that caused um my throat to get remember how my throat got like I, I ended up losing my voice and stuff and I was trying to figure out I, I started getting really dry throats and stuff like that um and that was really the only different thing that I had come in contact with so I guess I have to be careful of that all right, this is this we have dyed this lovely rustic cotton with charcoal powder. 100% natural organic and color fast. Again, I will link these each one of these links to the ones that they sent me in the description box below so you can go directly to it to find out any of the information. But this was dyed with charcoal powder. These actually almost all smell somewhat alike. So that's kind of interesting. Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think of all these? I think it's cool. I like, I like learning about new things. I like trying new things. So, you know, like I said, some of this stuff, okay, I can't put this away in the box. It's just going to have to wait until later. <laughs> um, I love trying new things and I love, learning about new things so i would love to hear what you guys have to say about any of these that have been dyed with charcoal cocoa chalk uh coffee etc let me know what you think please let me know what you think from all these unique yarns let me know which one of that those are your favorite um I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. It is entirely longer than I had anticipated. Um but I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed all the yarns. I am thrilled with it all. I, again, apologize for not being as enthusiastic as I typically would be, but it is what it is. So I love you guys dearly. Thank you all again so much for your support. I love all the comments you guys have been um, sending me and the messages, emails. You guys are just amazing. 
Thank you so much. Miley says hi and bye to her peeps. Um, my mom says hi and thank you all for the prayers for her as well. Um, I am trying to get back to my regular schedule. So Friday, I am hoping to get the next um, Getting to Know You episode up um, as, as long as everything goes well. And um, yeah, so I love you guys dearly. Thank you so incredibly much for all of your support. Please let me know what your favorite yarns are or what it is that you like about certain yarns. If you've experienced any of these yarns that are a little bit more unique from unique yarns. And um, of course, let me know about the first three yarn of the months. Wow, that's all I gotta say. Emmy, thank you so much for my postcard. I so very much appreciate it. I, I It was just awesome of you to think of me and to send it. I really do appreciate it. Um, so I love you guys dearly. Love hugs and prayers to everybody. Extra um, prayers for anybody who needs it. Make sure to let me know if you do and I will definitely say some extra ones for you. Uh, you guys will see me on Friday. And remember, for every season, there's a reason to crochet. Um, I thought she was about to come out here to say hi herself, but she is not. So um, have a great day and a great rest of your week. I'll see you guys on Friday. And I hope I didn't forget anything. <laughs> um, but I will see you guys soon. I love you all dearly. Thank you all again so much for everything. I will see you guys soon. Bye.